Hello everyone. I'm finally playing Aviary Attorney. I say finally only because I commissioned the thumbnail for this like a week ago and maybe even more than a week ago. And I'm just now getting around to play it. Um, I did see at least the first few screens of this just to see if it would work. Because the first time I opened this game, it actually stalled at a black screen. Good god, this game is kind of loud. Holy fuck. Anyways, the reason that it's taken me so long to play this game is that I haven't been in the correct mental state um, depicted by the thumbnail to play this game. Oh, man. And now... Right now, I decide to play this game with or without stupid, goofy accents. Mm. Nah. I don't decide that right now. I decide that as I'm reading each line. Anyways. It's midday already. Where on earth is that featherhead? Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird falcon? Ugh, too early for worms. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. There'll be time for that later. We got we got some business to handle first. Business. A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. It's probably just more junk mail. Go on, Sparrowson. You must have the honors. You may have the honors. All right. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I am writing you today because my daughter, Dame Cataline, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at Le Concierge Prison on the charge of murder. Her trial is in three days' time. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer your legal aid. I have no idea what accent I'm doing there. It's like a mix between English and Australian. Yours sincerely, Signor Pertois de Miao of the de Miao Estate. They're cats. Well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious client in months. Not just that. The de Miao Estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Even if we cannot do much for Dame Cataline, his lordship would still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dame Cataline in court? No. I think not, Sparrison. The fact that Fat Cat Bourgeois is nothing of my concern. Pass the Cabernet Sauvignon already. What? With all respect, Falcon, we've been doing nothing for the past two weeks. Anything would be better than another day of thumb twiddling. <sighs> Still. Come on, let's be productive members of society. No. No, I've made up my mind. Okay, fine. Can we at least play some cards to pass the time? Now there's a marvelous idea. But what game? Really, we don't really have enough players for Tap to Rock or Seago. Hmm. I know. There's this game I learned at university called Jacques Noir. That's Blackjack. Jacques Noir? Sounds dubious. No, 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 it's a real game. Let me tell you how it works. You draw cards from this deck to get as close as possible to 21 without going over. Call hit if you want another card, and stand if you don't want any more. You're aiming to get as close as, as close to 21 as possible without going over. Sounds good. Deal me. I think the cards are stacked for this. I'm not actually sure, because I've only played it once. Just while I was testing this shit. So, yeah. I have one. Hit me. Three. Hit me. Seven. Hit me again. Oh, my. Hit me again. Alright, stand. Sick. 20 to zero. You ain't about to hit- Yeah, I win! Alright. 
So at least for that tutorial, they're not stacked. What do you think? Are you getting the gist of it? Yeah, I think I got it. It's fucking blackjack. Yeah, I think I've got a handle on it. All right, now we can make this interesting. How do you feel about a little wager? Sounds good. What do you have in mind? One franc per round? Two? No, no, no. I was thinking of something else. I'm intrigued. Go on. We play one round. If I win, you have to take on Dame Caterline's case. That sounds like quite a hefty wager. What, have I, what do I get if I win? Hmm. If you win, I've got it. If I win, you must take a vow of silence. You must take a vow of silence. Not a peep out of you for one week. A whole week? I don't think I can manage a day. Frankly, I don't think you could manage five minutes. But if you manage it, the office would actually be peaceful for a change. All right, all right, let's play. All right, I think the deck is stacked for this one because you have to progress, right? But I don't remember what I got before. Four, hit me. 11, hit me. What? An 11? Ain't no 11s in no blackjack. Fuck off. It's bullshit. <sighs> well, looks like I won. How about that? What? No way. You cheated. You didn't shuffle those cards properly. Let's go again. Two out of three. How does that American proverb go, Falcon? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ugh. This is my punishment for gambling on a made-up card game, isn't it? Fine, we'll take the case. Excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all this sitting around. No, oh, but I better file away Senior Dimiao's letter first. One moment, Falcon. Pertoire's letter has been added to your evidence folder. You may access the evidence folder at any time by clicking the suitcase symbol. Ugh, nearly forgot my wallet. Wouldn't want to lose that. Again, I recall you losing it at the New Year's party and at Christmas. Yes, yeah, alright. No need to make a list. Falcon has picked up his wallet. You may see how much money he is carrying at any time by clicking on the wallet symbol. Let's make a move! Hmm. Welcome to the map screen. From here you can travel to any listed area by clicking on a location name or location note. Areas marked with a clock symbol may take a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbol can be visited freely. Neato. Hmm. A sign on the door reads, the area aviary attorney offices. No case is too big or too small. No junk mail. For centuries, the infamous concierge, concierge, conciergerie prison has detained the accused and the condemned alike. Well, since it's got a clock, we may as well go here. Falcon and Sparrow Sun step into the stone-cold foyer of the Conciergerie prison. Sullen-faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Ah, the art. <clears throat> ah, the Conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells are spotless. The guards are well-mannered. <laughs> what do you want? Good day, monsieur. I'm here to see Dame Catalina de Miao. I am due to represent her in court. Oh, you're a lawyer, huh? Fine, fine, follow me. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Keep up. <sighs> My papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? Dame Catalina de Miao, I presume. You've arrived! The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petite assistant, Sparrison. My lady is knowledgeable. Don't. Don't talk like that, Sparrison. 
Sorry. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. But they weren't available at such short notice, so he hired the first people in the address directory. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh. You see, Falcon? I told you listering, listing under aviary attorney would pay off. Oh man, title drop. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Dame Kathleen, could you fill us in in some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? Hmm. What happened on the night of the murder? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Oh, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crenieri, the home of Baron Rogueil. My papa spent all evening talking with Monsieur Granwy and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff. Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So, all through dinner they were talking about company shares and investments, but I really didn't understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what took your what? Camera, it's a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. In 10 minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. That's a long fucking time for a camera. God damn. Wow, technology is amazing! I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrison. Pshaw, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a special device. I'll make a note of it. Camera has been added to your evidence folder. Please continue, Dame Kathleen. So, after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Granwy. He was all ripped open. A housemaid saw me standing over the fog froggy Monsieur and, claimed, and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. It wasn't so bad. My papa told me how to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Dame Catalina, who attended the banquet that evening? Well, there was me and my papa. My dearest maman couldn't make it. And there was Baron Rougeway, who, who hosted the dinner, and his housemaid, Huline, I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Granwy. Well, until you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Rubitio de Rubinio, the man with the camera. But he was only there for a little while. Hmm. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Dame Catalina, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, um, maybe a guy lurking in the shadows, or, uh, a bloody murderer weapon. Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you're looking for an easy answer. You got me. I did not see anything, I'm afraid. The evening was very normal. The food was delicious, the conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait, Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did. Dame Caterline, you said, 
The food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was. Fuck does that mean? You and your damn stomach. Let me see. We had poached red herring to start. Garnish with garlic butter. Go on. Then a marbled steak served perfect bloody rare. Mmm. That sounds delicious. Glorious. Falcon, write this down. What? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please. For me. Fine, fine. Red herring has been added to your evidence folder. <laughs> Bloody rare steak has been added to your evidence folder. <laughs> Sparison, remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Come to think of it, I did find it a little strange that we weren't given any cutlery. No cutlery? Even for the steak? No. You wouldn't think that the great baron of Chateau Crenier would be... would have gorgeous silverware. You wouldn't think the great baron of Chateau Crenier would have great... Gorgeous silverware. Fucking hell, I'm drunk. But there was none to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted us to know, Monsieur Falcon? No, I think that would be all. So what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crenier and see the scene of the murder for ourselves. We should try to track down the supposed photographer, Monsieur Rubitio de Rubinho. Two days for two tasks? Fucking hell. Two days for two tasks? Seems doable. But we should get back. But we should get head back and get some rest first. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go, you, you do believe my story, don't you? Dame Cataline, I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. That's good to hear. You're not wrong, Falcon, but that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work on being a less of a, how to put it, fee de pute. Huh? If serving justice makes me a fee de pute, then I'll wear that title proudly. Dame Cataline, Monsieur Granwy, Baron Rougeoui. These names are getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm gonna start compiling a face... A face... Space... Book. So that I can keep track of who everyone is. A what? A face book. It's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy-to-carry catalog. I think I understand. The name could use a little work, though. Sparrow Sun has... Com has started compiling a Facebook. You can ask, access a list of people you have met at any time by clicking the Facebook symbol. Neat. Let's make a move. Well, that'll be it for the first time that I play this, and possibly the last based on how much you guys hate the fucking voice acting. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time I get drunk.